Jorge Zambrano, um, Judge Two Matters, 2015-5754 Tender, 2016-537, a tender, and I said two matters, three matters, and 2016-1297, a tender. Your Honor, a call to be agreed upon. And please raise your right hand, sir. So I'm swear the evidence given to the court, Madam, I'm hearing should be the truth, full truth, nothing but the truth stuff you got. Thank you, sir. Mr. Zambrano, I have uh, three tenders of plea form here. It looks like you signed each of them, did you? Yes. And you read them over, you've gone over them with your lawyer, you understand what's on them? Yes. How old are you, sir? 35. How far have you gone in school? College credits. Have you taken any medication, no. drugs, or alcohol in the last 24 hours? No. Are you aware of any mental health issues that you have, or are you suffering or that you may be suffering from, or that you are in counseling for? None. You understand that when you make these uh, decisions to uh, plead guilty or make these admissions, you uh, tell me you're giving up your rights to have a trial before a judge or a jury. The jury would consist of six people. They come from all over Worcester County, and they'd all have to be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that you were guilty before you could be found guilty. You're also giving up your right to be presumed innocent, the right to have your lawyer cross-examine witnesses against you, present evidence in your own behalf, and you're giving up your right to remain silent because when you make these admissions, you're saying you committed the offenses with which you are charged, leaving the scene of a property damage accident, negligent operation of a motor vehicle, failure to stop for the police, operating after suspension, assault and battery on a police officer, resisting arrest, and operating after suspension again on a different date. You don't have to say anything against yourself for making the admissions, but that's what you're doing here. Do you understand that? Yes. Could I hear the facts, please? Thank you, Your Honor. We got the CR 00-5754. On May 14, 2015, officers with the vice squad being in the city of Worcester were doing a, uh, some surveillance in the city when they saw a black Chevrolet and the registration plate 5XGM80 on Providence Street. They saw the operator of the vehicle, recognized the defendant immediately. They knew from previous dealings they did not have a license and was not going to have a license for some years. Um, they attempted to effectuate a stop on that vehicle. It was at this point that Mr. Zambrano drove uh, through a parking lot of a Cumberland Farms where he struck another vehicle on Mercedes Benz and continued to drive. Officers did eventually make a stop and place him under arrest. Pocket 1662CR000537. On January 24, 2016, an officer was dispatched to, uh, to Lincoln Street for a report of an accident uh, with some injury. Uh, sold vehicle had the driver slumped over the wheel. That operator was later identified as the defendant in this matter. As the officer opened the car to check on him, he made a mumble. He then grabbed the officer by the front of his shirt, pulling him into the car. A brief struggle ensued. The officer went and placed him under arrest. Docket 1662CR00. 1297. On January 19, 2016, uh, Worcester police officers did make a stop on a motor vehicle operated by the defendant, Jorge Zambrano. It was later discovered they did not have a license to operate that vehicle. Those are the reasons for that. Well, he didn't have a license or was his license the suspended? license was, was suspended. Is that what happened in each of these cases, sir? Yes. You've had enough time to talk to your lawyer about all this, right? Yes. You've gone over the evidence would be presented if the cases went to trial, right? Correct. And what the law is, what the government would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt before you could be found guilty. Correct. And you do agree that on January 19th of this year, you were operating a motor vehicle on a public way. Your license was suspended and you knew it was, right? Yes. And um, on January 24th, five days later, you were involved in the incident that was described to me. You were in the car. You struck or put your hands on a police officer without any legal justification, intentionally. And you resisted arrest. You tried to get away from him. And in the process, you may have put him in some jeopardy of injury, right? Yes. And finally, you do agree that on May 14, 2015, 
You were involved in a motor vehicle collision on a public way or a way to which the public has a right of access as invitees or licensees. That is the parking lot. You knew you had a collision. You left the scene without making yourself known. You operated negligently. That is in a way that an ordinarily prudent person would not. As a result of that operation, the lives and safety of the public might have been endangered. And in addition, you failed to stop for the police after they signaled you to stop and you knew you should have, right? Correct. So you're pleading guilty to all of these things because you are guilty for no other reason. No one's forcing you or making you do it. Yes, sir. You also understand that if you are not a citizen of the United States, a guilty plea or finding more admission could result in your deportation, exclusion from this country, or denial of naturalization? Yes, Your Honor. And in addition, if the offenses to which you are pleading guilty or making these admissions are, under federal law, ones that presumptively mandate removal, and federal officials seek removal, it is practically inevitable that you would be deported, excluded from this country, or denied naturalization. Yes. The restitution is? Yes, we do, Your Honor. So $1,000 of restitution, uh, uh, $1,000 of damage was covered by insurance. I spoke with the victim last night. We still have $500. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other uh, witnesses or victim impact statements that the Commonwealth wants to present? Your Honor, I spoke with the officer involved in the lead documents. Uh, I'm sorry, in the second incident. He explained to me that the situation was tense, but that he recognizes that. The defendant probably needs more help than he does in jail time. Those are his words to me. When was the last time you had a driver's license? I never had one in my life. Horrible choice. Not one of these cases would have happened if you weren't driving, right? Not my first, one. My first lawyer was a corner pointed. That's what screwed me. Well, not, excuse me. Putting that aside, you knew you not. You know you're not supposed to be driving, and you're doing it. So I mean, you you're doing this to yourself. No, I know. All right, this is agreed upon. I'll do it. You understand that you're going to be on probation now for a year. And if you violate the terms of your probation, you could go to jail for up to uh, two and a half years for this. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, count, uh, excuse me, on docket number 155754, counts 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be continued without a finding for one year. There's $500 in restitution. This is Umbrano. Uh, You'll be required to pay a $50 victim witness fee. There'll be no probation and fee in view of the fact that he is paying restitution. We'll undergo a mental health evaluation, and uh, you'll have to go to treatment if it's recommended. You're going to remain drug and alcohol free, right? So there's random testing involved. On docket number. 537, both of those counts will be continued without a finding under the same terms and conditions. There's a $50 victim witness fee. There'll be no probation fee due to the fact that he's paying restitution. And on docket number 1297, also continue without a finding for one year. There'll be no, it'll be, everything's concurrent. There'll be no specific terms on that. Mrs. Zimbrano, please be careful. I'm trying. Your Honor, for the record, defendant is not a probation candidate. Thank you. Well, it was, okay. Oh, did you pass on a restitution sheet? I did. Yes, Thank you. Yes, uh, it's here. I have it. And... I'm sorry. Thank you. Did 
Point to probation, please, sir, and follow their instructions. One year date is March 28, oh, 2017, Your Honor. How long is it going to take you to pay the $500? Sure. You need at least six months. Okay, six months it is. Thank you. Thank you. And you can work out a payment plan with the probation department. Thank you. Thank you. Jorge Zambrano is before you, Judge. He's arrested new charges. Docket number 1662 CF3389. In Worcester, May 16, 2016. Operated motor vehicle license suspended. Unregistered motor vehicle number plate violation to conceal identity. Judge, he has a schedule for June 9th in which he's um, got violations of probation. On those matters, he said he became his own counsel. Mr. Zambrano, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Judge. Sir, the court will enter not guilty, please, on your behalf on the new charges today. Thank you. What would you do, like to do about representation in these matters, sir? Do you want to represent yourself, hire a private attorney, uh, or are you asking for court-appointed counsel? Anthony Scola. And is he representing you already in the other matters? Yes. Okay. Do you have any requests on this? I'm just going to ask you to amend to count one to a subsequent offense. He has a number of prior similar charges on his record. Some of them prior convictions with a guilty fine. The court will do that. Count one is going to be amended to reflect that it is operating with a suspended license, subsequent offense. June 9th. Your Honor, probation is not asking for detention. I'd just like to serve him with an amended violation today. Okay. So, Bruno, the uh, record will reflect that probation is serving you with an amended notice of violation in hand today. And continue for the same day. You're going to be released sir, on personal recognizance. You're further advised if charged with a new offense. While on recognizance on these matters, your recognizance may be revoked and you could be held up to 90 days awaiting trial. Matters are going to be continued to June 9th at 9 a.m. in courtroom 15 for pre-trial conference, pre-trial conference hearing, and violation of probation. He's released. Thank you, Your Honor. I need two notices. Probation, I need two notices in two cases. Those are from um, DW. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Yeah, not two So, okay, it's three, nine, and the third one, sorry. 